Breakcore is a type of music. Music takes a lot of time. You need to have watched at least five slice of life animes. A shonen can count if they're serious love. This genre is probably one of the most entry level for at least how complex it can sound on the surface. So uh, don't worry if you don't know too much. This is how I produce. This is not how you have to produce. This is not how everyone produces. This genre is very broad, and genre today is a very fleeting concept. As every genre expands, the lines between nightcore, breakcore, applecore, and earthcore all get blurrier. So now, you might be asking, what is breakcore? First, it's a genre for people who can't focus on anything. Second, it's defined by such viral videos as chill breakcore songs to fall asleep to. This will break you. And last but not least, this core exercise will transform your goal. Although genres are broad and confusing, there's one thing that unites breakcore. The Amen Break is a drum break that has been widely sampled in popular music. It comes from the 1969 track Amen Brother by the soul group The Winstons. Released by the B-side of the 1969 single Color Him Father, the drum break lasts about 7 seconds and was performed by Gregory Coleman. To move us into our music production process, the first thing you want to do is go over to your drum set and play yourself an Amen break. As you can see, highly technical maneuvers on the drum set. Uh, definitely not just downloading samples online and there's definitely not a link to uh, samples in the description. Alright, this is the time. We're in FL Studio and this is how you make break core. Two hours later. All right. You want to make sure your BPM matches your drum beat. Normally, it will say it's BPM, but uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, so you just gotta match it up there. What the f is the BP? All right, we're going to be using Karate Beat 170. 170 meaning the BPM. You want to match that number with the number right up there at the top of your thing. I don't know how it's 170, though, because it doesn't seem like it fits. But, uh... See, whoever uploaded this actually has problems with their mental health. Because this is actually a 160, 165 BPM. So, uh, yeah, beware of a misleading title like that. Another approach to this, of course, if you were really set on that 170 BPM, you can just go like this, go like this, go like this, and you want to go over to time and then just fit it right in there. Now it's a little higher pitch, but you wanna use this one. But uh, it's really up to you if you wanna keep the same pitch, you can bring down the pitch, you can pitch it on key, you can, you know, you can do whatever you want. See, this is what I like to call a half beat. I've never called it that. If you just play this throughout a whole song, It already got extremely boring by the third time. So this is going to be a great one to either bring in in the bag of the mix or, you know, to to maybe mess around with. You can you can take things, and you can kind of, you know, slice them up a bit, kind of mutilate them. You know, you can do have your way with your samples. They're they're yours, you know, they're yours to play with. So you want to cut them up at random spots. Uh, you got this. Right here it says UPS, our fastest ground shipping ever. 
you know. But what if it was uh, fat, uh, that? Fastest and hardest boner. Quickest, quickest uh, speed for getting a boner. That into that. You know, like, what would this sound like? You know, it would be so silly, though, right? Like, it'd be so silly. Like, it's like backwards. What the heck? And then you could go here, and then you could be like, you know, I want you to go first, actually. Don't worry about your stage fright, buddy. Okay, that's not what you want, though. Also, don't be afraid to reuse sounds. Just be like, bang, bang, bang. You know? See, but that's not good. So, you just want to keep messing around until you have something that you actually, you know, enjoy a bit. Even though you had no variation on this tiny little beat, you've created yourself a nice full bar of loops. It's, you know, fun stuff, fun, fun stuff. Okay. Now, moving on. Music has three elements. There are three elements to music. There is rap, there is rap, and there is rap. Mm. And thus, it is actually a form of music. Rhythm, harmony, and melody. For the purposes of this being a relatively entry-level little video right here, I'm going to be using this completely free plugin. It comes with your FL Studio. Game free with your f***ing Xbox. I didn't get it. I have the oldest Xbox known to man. No, you don't. I bought mine on day one, you f Well, not completely free because you have to buy FL Studio. But, you know, it comes with your FL Studio. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, you, you have this available to you because it really is a huge library. You want to go over to this free section, you can download any of these. The best ones that I'm going to recommend are going to be uh, the Bass Utopia because it's, it's good to have a lot of synth bass, especially for this genre. Central Piano. It's just good to have as many piano sounds as possible. I would recommend having a different plugin for specifically piano sounds, but uh, this is a this is an entry level one, especially for this genre where sound quality is not the utmost important thing. All right, so I've just rattled off a million different things. Let's get started on harmony. Heads up! Don't worry if you don't know too much about music. We're gonna get right into it. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. All right, it's at this point where you want to pull up your Desmos oh graphing God, calculator. Oh, what you're actually going to do no, here is you're going to tweak these man, so that you get each individual. I suppose you could just, you know, write in C and uh, do white notes. That's always an option. And then you want to, you know, you want to put the pattern in, you know, just like, just like that. Oh, oh wow, what a sound. Yeah. What if it was like... Oh wow, that's even like... Loud. What if it, What if we added like a... Oh, 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 What if we added like a... Oh! Okay, what if it was... Okay, what if uh... What if it went... Duh! Uh, G, C. Major 7 is F. What about the ninth? Get a ninth in there. Nice A here. A is our ninth. But why don't we try very additional? C is the fifth. C is the third. I don't know anything. Major 7th chord. You know, this, this sounds kind of sad. It's kind of like... But what if we went even farther? Repeating the four is always nice because... Uh, just shut up. It's just nice. This is barely even a one. This is like the structure of a one chord, but it's we're really playing everything. Call it whatever the fuck you want. I call it sounding good. It doesn't sound that good. Just let it be an A chord. The F is completely a musical content. So this is now really our leading sound. We're definitely an A minor here. We need something to resolve, you know, like this is a nice thing to resolve. It wants to come down. But it's not as dissonant. Look at that. That's that's some tension. It's almost a ballad, you know, like classical. You know, well, let me take out the bass here. Now, what if instead of this, 
What if it was a... Wait, that's... What if instead of a... Cool, that's a variation. All right, now that we have our melodramatic teen twilight musical extravaganza, we're gonna add in another piece of flex and move on to the bit. <laughs> Now we have this nice little uh, base utopia thing here. Wow. Alright, let's try this out. See, some synths only play one note. It's called monophonic. Some synths will play many notes it's called polyphonic. We'll see right now if this is a mono or polyphonic synth. Sounds pretty monophonic to me. Okay, so we're gonna start from scratch. Okay, so I noticed I wasn't really talking at this part, so I figured I'd go and give a play-by-play -play of what, I, what I'm doing. As you can see, I started it on, I, I started it on the F note, and the, the bass line, and it goes up, it goes all the way up to the G, to the A, and then it goes down to the G. That's a nice little sound there, and I, I figured that out right off the bat. And then I, I, it took me a little bit to get a, you know, the tempo down. It was a weird, weird place. I wanted it to happen on the beat. Basically, this is all you're gonna be doing when you're making a bass line. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have a bunch of melody notes, and you're gonna try to play around with them until they sound good. And it's all trial and error. You know, you make a hundred, and then maybe you'll make one you like. It's, you know, it's how the world works. You know. So, uh, it was nice meeting you guys, uh, I'll be back later. Alright, since we're getting a couple instruments in here now, we're going to want to put everything on the mixer. What did I say in the beginning? There's... I guess this kind of counts as melody, but no, no, we need a true melody. And where are we gonna go? Of course, we're gonna go to Flex because you can get everything from this beautiful little plugin. All right, so I'm already kind of in love. Okay, so uh, I loved this sound, but I don't anymore. Actually, you know. Uh, once again, I realized I didn't really say anything for a while here. Uh, it's a bit like the bass line, I, I guess, it's it's a melody, you know? There's not much to say, if you made uh, hip-hop before, then you know what it is, you just, I mean, if you made music before, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's just kind of a melody, I don't know, not much to say about it, you just put, uh, it's this in C, so you just put, uh, white notes all over, you know, the ones that go up and the ones that go down, and it hopefully sounds like something at the end. All right, we got our bass, we got our melody, we got our chords, we got our mother flipping amen break. What do we have left? Well, of course, we need a nice, beautiful synth. You know, we have a million synths, but none are beautiful enough. <laughs> 
we'll start with this one, but we're definitely going to end up changing that. Okay. Let's go pattern four. The nice thing about this, you don't even need to write anything new. All you got to do, slap that beautiful piano piece that you already wrote in there. Now, I said I was definitely going to end up changing that, but holy shit, that hits like a mother butt cheek on a stick, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All that's left is the most fun part of the process. It gets all the girls, it gets every single person interested. Every Whenever anyone asks you, oh, do you do music? Immediately. You know what they're going to ask? How good is your mixing? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're getting into mixing, baby. Hi, my name is David Gibson. I know everything about recording. I've been doing it since the beginning of time. Of course, this isn't true. No one knows everything about recording. Alright, first rule of mixing for this genre. Automate everything. Oh, what's that? Oh, you think that this needs to be uh, a little lower in the mix? Oh, automate it. Why? Because. Why? Why not? These are the true questions you need to ask in this genre. Let's start here. Then we'll come up and we'll copy this value. Make sure you copy and paste values a lot. Because even though you do want to automate a lot of stuff in this genre, you still want it to have some continuity. If it doesn't have continuity, it's just going to sound ridiculous. <laughs> We can go in and do some proper channel mixing. As you can see here, I know everything about mixing. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, no one could mix this better. It's really honestly astonishing. The way that I move the levels at such a perfect you know, amount. It's just astonishing. As you can see, just like every process uh, for music, very technical. Uh, you definitely don't just keep playing around until you think you like the sound. It's an extremely technical process. One thing for mixing that's uh, normally pretty helpful is having your instruments in the mixer. So, uh, excuse me. Alright, and everyone knows that mixing is literally just uh, changing these little levels right here, so we're completely done. Nah, okay, we'll get into the EQs, okay. First things first, let's figure out what we want from each sound. So, we're getting a lot of mids from this, you know, this is a very mid, mid heavy. Hear that? Mid. So, what what happens if we just boost the mids? Ma, 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 mid. with, uh, soloing the sound. Okay, that gives it a little more. It's a little more oomph. What if we uh we boost the mids and roll off some of that high end, huh? What if we did that? What? What if we kissed? What if, oh, what if? See, it's a major, absolutely major difference. We got a lot of mids coming in from here. 
We can probably leave a little more low end. But, I mean, it's not like this sound has much low end anyways. Sometimes it's gonna be nice to EQ our hats, so let's check that out. All right, now we're going into compressors. If you're a beginner for music, just do this, just do this, just do this, just do that, just do it. Just click Sound Goodizer, okay? If you want to do a little more, you can go over here and do this and then do it yourself, but honestly, I still kind of prefer the other one sometimes. So let's just do some Sound Goodizer. All right, our bass is getting kind of kind of by this, so let's uh actually we can still keep the kick. Right here, I'm using a highly precise move to uh, locate the kick. I scroll wheeled on the thing, and it uh, it makes it smoother. So then I find the the root of where the the kick is coming from. All right, this is our strongest sound, so we're gonna send this a little bit to the right, just a little bit. We don't want them all, you know, clashing with each other, fighting for the same space. Let's. Okay, so right here, there's another extremely technical process. As you can see, you move the dials and it moves the sound. Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you which goes which direction because I figure it out every single time I open the program once again. Uh, honestly, it's, it's really confusing. I, I wish there had some kind of visualization, but I normally do, do okay for myself at the end. Now we want this one to come a little bit to the left, just a little bit to the left. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just put a second EQ. Alright, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Don't put a second EQ. Just please just work with your first Get EQ. Get my mids out of my synth. And then the highs out of this piano. Then what I can do is I can put the highs where the bass is. Because the bass has a lot of mids as well. That way, you know, we don't have this this mix, mash, mish, mash, or mac moop between the synth and the bass. <laughs> Let's try sending these hats forward a little bit. All right, now let's try uh, let's try adding in a nice little compressor onto this bass. Let's default this real quick. All right, at this point, add your own flair, okay? I decided to go for some weird 
uh, experimental time signature, time slipping, swooping, slopping. Basically, the drums stay going on the same the same uh, measure, but the melody falls behind the measure, and then the bass is still on the beat, but the melody's off, and then the chords come in, and two the two are on the side of separate beats, and then the boom, and yeah, so it's experimental. Yeah, so add your own flair. You can do this. You could add in samples from your favorite anime. You could add in mario kart music you could add in whatever you want this is break court baby the only thing that unites this genre is this thing right here this this amen break so as long as you say your prayers you are making break core. as we go into our final song i wanted to leave everyone here with some parting thoughts this is a formula the last thing you want to do when producing break core is strictly follow a formula Maybe your song won't have a melody. Maybe it won't have a bass line. Hell, maybe it won't even have harmony. Maybe you'll use arpeggio synths. Maybe a lot of things. Use this as a tool to learn basics. But don't use it as a formula to live by. Thank you and amen.